Hey everybody, um, I wanted to make a quick video on how to remove the cushion assembly on an 8270. Pretty easy process, uh, you only need a couple of tools. Here's what I use, a quarter inch Allen socket, 9 16 wrench, and a 9 16 socket and impact obviously. Um, First thing I'm going to do is remove the shoulder bolt on the cushion shock. Uh, normally you have a pin and X washer set up, but I convert it to shoulder bolts. Easier to remove. Uh, so I'll go ahead and take that off and come right back. All right, now that I got my shoulder bolt out, the next step is going to be removing the cushion block. Uh, you got three 3 8 bolts here. Now, normally I will remove the cushion block from the fall door side because if you notice, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, probably not. There are welded nuts on the kickback, and a lot of older machines, those will break. So if you happen to break the welded nuts on the fall door side, That's an easy, easier to get to than the uh, other side, which is not an easy fit. So I'm gonna take these three bolts out and we put our cushion out. All right, well, I've got my 9 16 wrench here. Now when I remove the block, I like to start with the bottom bolt first, get that loose, and then I'll do the other side, get that loose, and then I'll get the top one loose and then I'll back them all out. And at the same time, holding up the cushion while I take the top bolt out, makes it a little easier. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do that with one hand, so I'll do that and come right back. All right, now that we got our cushion block bolts out, I'm currently holding on to the cushion. I'm gonna lower it. do with one hand. Swing it around, get our cushion block out of the way. I like to inspect it for cracks. Which this looks pretty good. Drop the washer. Alright. Drop the other side. Just kind of swing it around. And we'll get this one out and get the spare one in. All right, now we got our spare cushion in place. Other side set up. We inspected that side of the cushion block. Make sure it's in good shape. It looks good. Then we'll take our cushion block, and before we swing it in place, we'll get that set on there. And then we're just gonna swing it up. Unfortunately, I can't do that with one hand, so if I can set the camera down, that would spot. Then I like to hold it up and let the top bolt be started. I get them nice and tight. Now one thing I like to do before I reinstall the shock pin is
Thanks for watching.